And that'll take us to triple zeros. Jimbo Fisher closes out his opening season at Texas A&M with a bowl win and a nine win campaign. For Rod Gilmore, Quint Kesnick, Adam Amin, saying so long from Jacksonville, Florida. We are exactly an hour away from the new year and SVP will take you right up to midnight on the East Coast. Good night, everyone. Texas A&M with the victory here in the 2018 Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. Both Texas A&M and North Carolina State close out their seasons with nine wins. We welcome those of you joining us on the ESPN app postgame trophy ceremony. It is presented to you by Capital One. The trophy will be awarded in just moments here in Jacksonville, Florida, as well as the most valuable player of this Tax Slayer Gator Bowl as well as the A&M players get their championship hats. What a performance tonight by Travion Williams and that A&M defense. The things that they threw coverage wise and disguises at Finley to limit his passing ability. Just outstanding. It was a complete dominant performance from about midway through the second quarter on a pretty good cap to year number one for Jimbo Fisher December 1st 2017 Jimbo Fisher got hired inherited Kellen Mond and Nick Starkle in a quarterback battle Kellen Mond won it for him and started every game that he was healthy for this season major jump from freshman to sophomore year for this young man. He's not the same guy. He is not the same guy. He has grown as a quarterback and I really expect that next year he'll take a, a, another step, a bigger step. He completed 57% of his passes this year. I, I think next year you'll see a jump in the mid 60s or so for him. He'll get much better with that. And obviously he got a lot of help from Travion Williams who set a Gator Bowl record tonight with 236 rushing yards. He is with our Quint Kesnick. Ravion, congratulations. It's hard to believe at one time in this game, you guys actually trailed 13 to seven. What, 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 what changed? You know, this is a game that, that, that's all based on four quarters. You know, and sometimes, you know, one team might make a few more plays than we did, but we stayed persistent, we stayed up persistent, and we counted on each other, and we went out and made changes, and we came out victorious. We spoke really yesterday like that, uh, about your strengths, and you said change of direction, change of speed, vision, and balance. What was most on display in those big runs? Persistence, you know, persistence and balance. You know, that was a key that you remember we talked about, you know, a few days ago. You know, definitely that balance, being able to, you know, stay balanced while I'm, you know, weeding out blocks. But definitely, you know, without my offensive lineman, without my receivers, without everybody, none of this would be possible. Magical ending as Cullen actually scores the last touchdown. Oh, what man. emotions were you dealing with when he scores a touchdown? If, if y'all seen it, we all rushed the field. You know, we all wanted 12 to get that touchdown. You know, not only for 12, but for the 12 man. So, Why is that? Yeah. Because, hey, he's a 12 man. He represents the 12 man. He represents that family body. He represents that fan base. So, him being able to do that, that was a big emotional moment, not just for us, but this team. You set a bowl record, 236 yards, three touchdowns. No one's ever rushed for that uh, on this field in, in, in this game. What was uh, most responsible for that? God. You know, without God, none of this would be possible. You know, I want to thank my God for everything. Thank my God for putting me in this position with these great group of guys that I'm sharing this moment, man. Without them, I'm nothing. So thank God, thank for my teammates, and thank everybody. And it's 12 man, everybody. You have a decision to make. Will it be one more year at Texas A&M, or will it be the NFL? We shall see. We shall see what the future holds. To be determined. All right. To be determined. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Travion. It was quite having a game. Thanks for having me. Adam. Thank you, Q. Travion, tight-lipped, and rightfully so. He'll have plenty of time to talk to his family and make that decision and he put on quite the show if this was his final collegiate game he put on quite the show to cap it well college football would love to have him back absolutely for another year. I, know, I know a lot of folks in college uh, station yep. would too right a now. a lot of excitement but uh, I, I would not be surprised you, you tend to find running backs uh, moving on because of the wear and tear Jimbo Fisher with one of his sons on the sideline with him hanging out with Kellen Mond an impressive season to start it off 
top three recruiting class coming in next year for Texas A&M. NC State, by the way, they close with nine wins as well. They have the third best recruiting class in the ACC. Number 26 overall, of course, Clemson and Florida State, both in front of North Carolina State, but a strong end to their season as well as they won three of their final four. Yeah, and a few years as to where they are, uh, they have a chance now to, to really focus on taking that next step and getting to the ACC championship game and uh, getting a shot at, uh, you know, comparing yourself to Clemson. Yep, Clemson is the gold standard in the ACC. Obviously, Alabama, the gold standard in the SEC, the same division as Texas A&M. That'll be very interesting to see what the uh, preseason rankings look like when we get to about, uh, what do you think, mid Mid July, late July, when the SEC media days take place. Whatever it is, it can't come soon enough. <laughs> Still a week away from capping off this college football season with our national championship game next Monday night on ESPN. Kellen Mond and Nick Starkle in the middle of that picture with the two quarterbacks for Texas A&M. Those of you watching on the ESPN app are enjoying the sights and sounds here at TIA Bank Field. A lot of effort exerted by this Texas A&M group in what was a dynamic offensive performance. 541 total yards, 401 rushing yeah, yards. In this let, let's not overlook, though, what uh, Mike Elko did. Absolutely, the defensive coordinator, yes. Yeah, hey, he was facing a quarterback who was going to be selected in the NFL draft probably pretty early, and he had a game plan to limit what he could do. Uh, didn't allow him to throw the ball over the heads of, of their secondary, which has had issues at times this year. He didn't blitz very often. They played good coverage. He got pressure with four men, and he designed some exotic things such as the uh, the fake blitz and pull your linebacker out, <laughs> jump in front of a ball, and yep. things work pretty well for him. Well, as you mentioned, it's our ESPN app postgame trophy ceremony. It is presented to you by Capital One, and those festivities are about to begin on the field. But first, before we start them up, here's this message. Back in Jacksonville for... The trophy presentation. First, we get a chance to look at tonight's Capital One rewarding performance. Well, when the bowl's been played for uh, 74 years and you have the most rushing yards of all time in the bowl game, you probably have earned it. 236 yards on the ground for Travion Williams. And he did it in spectacular fashion. He showed you all of his skills, the vision, the patience, the lateral quickness, and the flat-out speed. Man, he is some player. 93-yard touchdown run was the highlight. Let's go down to the field and join our own Quint Kesnick. Thank you, Adam. Uh, joined by Brian Rhodes, President and CEO of Tax Slayer. Hey, everybody, we're down here on the podium. Left side, what are we at? The 20-yard line with Texas A&M. Victorious in the Tax Slayer Cater Bowl. Brian. Thank you. As the title sponsor of this great event, and on behalf of all the employees at Tax Slayer, I want to congratulate Coach Fisher, the players, and the fans of Texas A&M. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Jamie Shelton, the chairman of the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl, is here with the trophy presentation. Coach, to you, your fans, your players, congratulations. A great game. And um, we're glad to have you here in our city. Hope to see you again soon. We, we were just talking, Coach. They led 13-7. to 7. What changed? What did you turn, turn around? I think our kids just kept playing, and that's one thing we've talked about, perseverance, and just played the next play, and then got hot, got on a roll. Then offense, defense, special teams, it all came together. We, we started to play with a dominant personality, controlled the line of scrimmage, and then played at Texas A&M football. How do you best describe a nine-win season? Well, I mean, these guys learn. I, I, I can't ask more from a team to come in in one year and the changes we tried to make. And this, I'm going to tell you, first of all, I want to say a special thanks to these seniors. That's the seniors' first bowl win ever. God bless these seniors and what they've done here at Texas A&M. 
magical touchdown at the end of that game. Where's Cullen? The 12th man. Coach, that meant a lot to a lot of folks on your team, up in the up in the crowd. Well, why did you decide to give that a go? Well, this and what the 12th man stands for, that is A&M. It's the selflessness, and that's what A&M is about. That's the culture of A&M. That's the people of A&M, what makes A&M special. And that's the first 12th man to ever score a touchdown for Texas A&M. And he deserves it, there is no doubt. That's here for Colin. We've got an MVP trophy to present as well. Travion Williams, come on up here. 236 yards, three touchdowns. How would you best describe what you were able to accomplish today? Man, like I said, man, God is good. You know, without God, none of this would be possible. I want to thank God for my luxurious teammates, man. Without them, none of this would be possible. I want to thank the 12th man. I want to thank Coach Fisher, the whole coaching staff. I want to thank everybody for this, man. Without this, none of this would be possible. I love you guys. You've got a decision. I know the fans of Texas A&M want to see you back in College Station next year. Is that right? Is that right? Let's do it. You got a decision. You want to make that decision right now? I don't know. We shall see. I don't know. I don't Congratulations. Know. Don't let it detract from what was a, an amazing game today, Travion. Thank you. We'll do. Thank you guys so much. Let's hear it for the Texas A&M Aggies. Tax Slayer Gator Bowl champions and a nine win season. Thank you, Adam. Quinn, thank you so much. Great work. Travion Williams, a 236 yard rushing performance and a big smile to go right along with it. Texas A&M, your 2018 Tax Slayer Gator Bowl champions by a final score of 52 to 13. Thanks for joining us in our ESPN app post game ceremony presented by Capital One.